All right. As I was saying, like, yeah, it's hard for a lot of people to grasp something like this. Like, for some people, the story is just a little all over the place. It's not exactly making sense. Like, you're not exactly following up the tree, so on and so forth. It's just a mass of who died at what time, so on and so forth. And you see me still up here with the audio bit because I wanted to turn the master volume down because it was pretty loud. But in all terms, I think the creators of this game should continue doing work like this. Like, I'd be more interested in, like, a little after spin off of what's going to happen here, as you'll see. I'd be, like, interested in a tiny spin off. It doesn't have to be as long as this. As this game is, this game's like two hours long. Not that it's very long, but. It's not important that the game is long. It's just a matter of getting its story out and getting its message out. Like, to me, all of these characters, there was something either mentally awry with them, or they had freak accidents. Like Odin, that one was a freak accident. Walter was a freak accident, kind of. Sam's was a freak accident. Calvin's was a freak accident. Barbara, she was murdered. Molly, I'm not entirely sure what hers was about. It was either an out-of-body experience or a dream. Can't be 100% certain. Gus, I'm not exactly sure what that one was. Him being caught in a storm and then whatever happened. I, I'm i going to be honest. I don't know exactly what the creators are, try, are trying to portray with like what everybody's death in this game means. Or what the causes are. Lewis is a disassociation disorder. From what another YouTuber who played this is, that's more popular than me, Minx. She played this and... Explained as pretty much like disassociation disorder. Which even I admittedly had a little bit of. I was a kid with ADHD and I was more attuned to my imagination than I was with anything else. I put myself into my imagination more than I would actually... focus on what I was doing. I didn't do very good in school that way, but af after a few years, I got much better at school, but my grades don't show that. I learned at my own pace, which everybody should do. Because nowadays, your schools, you're just a number and a statistic. To me, if you want to learn something, do it at your own pace and at your own terms. Don't study to take a test. You're not learning just to take a test. You're learning to better your knowledge. Even if things are being told differently in schools now. Like, there's easily ways you can go back, find history books, museums, such like that, that you can go through and learn about history, science, math, so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and continue the series. I apologize. I kind of rambled on for four minutes now? Yes, rambled on for four minutes, and this is supposed to be a quiet playthrough of a game. I apologize, I needed to get that off my chest. So, let's continue. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind.
What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, to our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way... It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful, you know. I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. 
The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. That's the entire game. I'm going to be doing one recording of having the credits so you see who all created the game and and such. That way, all the credit goes to these people. I cannot stress that enough that I do not own the rights to the games that I am playing. These games are all created by their respective owners. I am only doing these for people's enjoyment and friends enjoyment so they can watch these videos themselves or if you're new to my channel you get a kind of introduction of stuff I'll be doing that are like this so in the next one <laughs>